Welcome to Corey Rawson High School, and we're here today to talk about balancing equations, balancing chemical equations. And there is a hack for doing this that I'm going to show you. It makes it real simple. If you've had trouble with it as, as a student or if you've had trouble teaching it. Even if you successfully learned to write chemical formulas, and at this point, if you're balancing equations, you probably have been doing that. You know that you have to change subscripts to make the chemical formulas be correct. But that's done. And what students want to do all the time is, well, I have two sodiums. Why don't I put a two here and two chloride? Why don't I put a two there? No. Let me show you, that's a big cause of confusion. Let me show you how to get around that. So here I have a reaction will balance sodium carbonate and copper two chloride gives us copper two carbonate and sodium chloride. We're gonna balance this one here a little bit. Here's the hack. Here's the equation. You need to switch colors and switch to your non-writing hand to do the balancing. You know, write the chemical formula out, the plus signs, the arrows, do all of that normally, but switch hands and switch colors when you go to do the balancing. Here's why that works. The right side of the brain mostly controls the left side of your body, and the left side of your brain mostly controls the right side of your body. So when you switch colors and switch hands and you do the balancing, your numbers won't be good. That's okay. They'll be legible. It takes that operation of balancing partly to a different area of your brain and you're much less likely to confuse the balancing part and put the numbers in the wrong place. It's easier to put the coefficients in the right place then. This works. I've been, I came up with this technique sometime in the last millennium and immediately the number of students that can get this in an hour easily doubles, sometimes triples. And they have much less trouble with it. So try this. So I'm right-handed and I would have written all of this out except my writing is horrible, so I typed it. And now I'm going to, I usually do my balancing in red. Now I'm going to do with my red hand. I have one times two is sodium, two sodium. I mean, need a two in front. Now I know that goes there because my left hand writes the coefficients in front. Let's save the carbonate here. I have one copper. One times one is one copper. One times two is two chlorine. 2 times 1 is 2 chlorine. My carbon, I have 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Remember, that's copper. This is chlorine. Oxygen, 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 3 is 3. It's that simple. You switch to your non-writing hand to do the balancing, you will immediately see much better results. Okay, students all the time, when you first see this, they want to put a 2 here. Well, when you take oxygen gas and put it with hydrogen gas and react them, you get water. You actually get high temperature steam. This is very explosive. The space shuttle used to do this. But I need two oxygen. One times two is two. I need one times two is two. Switch to your non-writing hand and put a coefficient two in front. Now I have two times one is two oxygen. And then you say, well, but that messed up the hydrogen. That's okay. That's why we have to balance to change all these things. I have two times two is one, uh, four hydrogen. I need to make this two times two is four hydrogen. And this is done. Let's try another one. Uh, thermite can do this. Aluminum and iron three oxide gives you aluminum oxide and iron. I have one aluminum and one times two is two aluminum. So this to me needs to be a two. Now be aware, you can change these things and then have to go back and change them. That may happen here. I have one times two is two iron. I need two times one is two iron. I have one times three is three oxygen. One times three is three oxygen. Everything's gonna be okay. You can go back and keep double checking and make sure nothing changes here. This will be right. One more. But there's a bonus hack on this one. If something appears in more than one place, save it for later, it will be easier to do. One place on each side. I have carbon in one place, carbon in one place. I have oxygen here, 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 and here. We definitely want to save oxygen for last. I have hydrogen here and here, which is 
something we have to pay attention to that's not real hard, and hydrogen here. So let's do them in the order of carbon first, then hydrogen, and then oxygen last since it's everywhere. Okay, I have one times two is two carbon. I need a two. Notice how badly I write. Two times one is two carbon. Hydrogen, I have one there. One times five is five, and one times one is one, and these five, and this one is six. So I need something times two to give me six over here. That's gonna be three times two. Now that everything else is done, let's check our oxygen. One times one is one, one times two is two, two and one is three. This side has more oxygen, so I have to add more oxygen over here. I have two times two is four, three times one is three, three and four is seven. So I need seven oxygen on this side. I'm gonna leave this one alone because our carbon is already straight. So if there's seven and I got this one, then I need six here. And the way to get six here, is to go three times two is six. So that's the hack, it's just that simple. Write all your chemical formulas out, get the equation all written out, but when you go to balance, switch to your non-writing hand, switch colors, and it works.